I think food always comforts the heart oh, and yeah. soul and the tummy. Food. <laughs> well, Food and Wine has named Mary and Tito's Cafe in Albuquerque one of the country's best taco spots. Right, and this isn't the first time that Mary and Tito's has been honored on a national level. Two years ago, the cafe was recognized as an American classic by the James Beard Foundation, which is considered to be the Oscars of the food world. <laughs> yes, the famed secret weapon of this mother-daughter run operation is apparently its fiery red chili sauce. I'll be honest, I haven't tried it yet, but I'm willing to give it a whirl. Yeah, sounds good to me. <laughs> the fiery, good. the better at this point. Exactly. I need some heat in my life. No doubt, me it's too. too. Cold out there. And not the one from PNM. It's costing me a fortune. Well, a fashion designer, we were talking about this earlier, a yeah. fashion designer from New Mexico will be in the national spotlight later this month. Patricia Michaels of Taos Pueblo will appear on the new season of Project Runway, which will start airing next Thursday. That is so cool. You know, the show gives up and coming designers a chance to show off their skills and try to nab that $100,000 grand prize. Well, Michael says part of the reason that she personally decided to apply was because she wanted to encourage other Native American designers to just break away from only showing their work exclusively in Native themed events and galleries. So this is her chance to really expose the culture and the styles to the whole I nation. I love it. And you know, it, it really is. You know, I went home out east mm -hmm. for Christmas. Right. And I can't tell you how much you can tell that the Native American style mm -hmm. is influencing style around the country exactly. and I love seeing it. I was like, well, I have the real thing. Exactly. Back home in New Mexico. I just wanted to keep saying that. So but it'll true. be so exciting to see her on there. Congratulations to you and I can't wait to, yeah. to watch. We'll be rooting for her. Hopefully, yeah. maybe we can even get her on the show. Let's hope for that. That would be, be cool. fun. Yeah, good for her. Now, speaking of shows that are in town, we <laughs> told you that Breaking Bad star and host of the After After Party, Stephen Michael Quesada, is running for a seat on the Albuquerque School Board. Well, yesterday we talked about the fact that he was appearing on CNN's Starting Point and that was to discuss why he wants to make a difference. I'm one of those kids that, that struggled through school and I, I feel that I kind of fell through the cracks and uh, I have three kids right now that attend uh, APS uh, charter school and so uh, I found myself in a position where I really needed to help them and really help the rest of the kids uh, here in New Mexico uh, to have that type of, uh, of, of, of edge and get a good education and, and have uh, you know have that um, um, that whole pride and confidence in being able to move forward with their lives. Hmm, wow. I love that. I love him. He does so much for our community. Mm -hmm. And you're probably wondering, is this just the beginning of his political career? Well, here's what he had to say. Was school board it for you, or, or is this the beginning of a long political career? Um, school board is it for me right now. Um, I still need to go out and, and work. And so uh, the good news about New Mexico is we bring a lot of movies, a lot of television series out here. So I'm hoping that I continue to work out here in New Mexico, along with being a part of my community. Uh, just because I'm an actor doesn't mean uh, I shouldn't be involved in my community. And uh, I think that it's something that I need to do and something that's calling me. You know, he, I said it yesterday. He really is putting New Mexico on a nat, you know, on the, on the map, map nationally. Yeah. I mean, people are really listening now. And he does so much for the young people of our community, mm -hmm. the youth. He really pays special attention to them, and he's doing it again. Yeah, uh, I think with trying to be on the school board, which I think is awesome. Definitely. And speaking of movies yeah. around the area, he's going to be taking on a new role in Force of Execution. It's a yeah. new movie that will be shot around Albuquerque, and the film also stars Steven Seagal. <laughs> And Danny Trejo and Wing Ving Rhames. I love so, Ving Rhames. Yes. This is a cool cast. This is a tough guy cast for sure. So <laughs> it's gonna be one of those action movies, right? Yeah. I wonder what kind of training he's doing for this. We'll have to oh. ask him. We'll have to ask his wife Sharice what she's thinking about. Like, is, is he mm -hmm. boxing around the house now? Is he getting all ready? <laughs> <laughs> That's cool. You know, Force of Execution, just to give you a little synopsis, it's the story about a crime lord torn between his legacy and his desire to get out of a life of crime. I mm -hmm. love those kind of movies. Yeah. That sounds and it has nothing to do with being from New Jersey. <laughs> now, something that I especially love, if you've watched New Mexico style at all for the last two and a half years, you know I'm slightly obsessed with American Idol. Well, season 12 of Idol starts tomorrow, and pop music diva Mariah Carey is all smiles about it. Now, she's new to the judge's seat, but of course a veteran in the music industry. Carrie says learning to say no was the hardest mm. part. <laughs> you can take that now however yeah. you want. Well, Fox's Ruben Dominguez has more. Take a look. When you're alone and life is making you lonely, you can always go downtown. I've been making my way, finding my way, and really just going on what I feel about 
the artists and the music and what I'm hearing and my experience and trying to give that to that person. And if that, you know, I've learned how to say, you know what, I really think this is for you at home with your friends, you know, this. I don't think this is a career choice for you. And that's hard to say. Like, that's really hard for me to say to somebody. And a friend of mine even told me, they were like, I don't know that people are going to be able to accept you telling them, no, you're not good enough to do this. And I said, well, I wouldn't say it in that way, but I think I'll be able to help somebody if they need a slight career, <laughs> you know, path change. Right. You can forget all your troubles, forget all your cares, so go downtown. You're gonna be all right now. Okay. You know, I think each person has brought something different to the table with this show. Um, meaning everybody involved in, in general. Um, and then there is a lot of buzz. I hope the buzz really will be focused on those final people that we, I don't know how we're gonna do it, but we cut it down to those last 10 people um, because they're gonna be incredibly talented and um, that's exciting. Don't you, don't you, don't you, well, don't, 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 don't you want to come on? Houston never gets any love. Tell me that you have a Houston story, something you've at least a fond memory, anything. Do I have a Houston story? Pause. Yeah. <laughs> Dead air. <laughs> yeah, Is all that right, what well, you really want? Anything, you know. Well, we went to Houston, <laughs> and there were a lot of talented people there. That's what we wanted. To hear. Isn't Beyonce from Houston? Yes. And she's a hugely talented person. And that's what we need. I love the diplomatic answer. Oh, it's going to well, be good. I'm there's there's going to be so her. much drama. Now, you know, the thing is that they were talking for a while about how scared Mariah was of Nikki because they were saying there were some <laughs> threats, oh, yeah. so she built up security. But now we're hearing that Nikki's afraid that Mariah is going to kind of tarnish her image and make her appear to be a crazy biatch, you know, like, uh -oh. who knows. Oh, but no, you're going to hear both sides. I think she'll do I enough think. of it on her own. If uh, you yeah, I'm sure. I'm sure. <laughs> Mariah Carey, can, she can just be the nice person, and, and it still could probably end up that way. Right? Absolutely. <laughs> I think we all create our own image, and, and if Nikki's worried about Mariah making her look bad, I think it's up to her to make herself look, look good. good. Right? Exactly. That's what you got to do you in got that to. situation. But right? I did see Keith Urban yesterday on Ellen, and he seems like he is really excited about this. He, I, you know, I love his music, mm. but I've really never seen much of him as far as his personality. No. So I'm he's, interested. He's not really out in the spotlight a whole lot. Mm -mm. So it'll be neat to see. I wonder if we'll see yeah. Nicole Kidman ever. In the, in the audience, yeah, at least. In the audience. That'd be kind of cool, too. That'd be cute. Yeah, they're a cute one. Well, coming up on New Mexico Style, take advantage of all the new snow and learn a winter sport. I did. Mm. That's coming up next.